Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today I got the Craftsman Click Type Torque Wrenches. If uh, you're watching this in 2021, in November, when this first, um, first going to drop this video, um, you might want to get these. They're 50 bucks each, and they're normally, this one's 85, this one is 95 right now. So let's crack into these. Here's the 3 8 micrometer torque wrench click type. Nice sturdy case. I hope so for the original asking price of 85 bucks. Right. There we go. There we go. All right. Beautiful test data. There we go. Calibration test data right there. Max torque 102.3, 60 percent torque 59.8, 20 percent 20.2. CCW reading 101.8, 59.6, and 20.1. And it was done 10 18 2020 which is uh about a year ago let's see and the collar goes down i'd like to adjust that yeah if you want to just it up to 40 foot pounds right there Say 40.8. That right there would be 40.0 foot pounds. Then you have your Newton meters right there. It is not the quick release type of torque wrench that we've seen before from Craftsman. It's pretty positive. There we go. That means tightening. That's loosening. That's good. So let's check out the half inch. It's a lot bigger because it can handle. Should be able to handle up to 250 foot pounds. I'm not going to test up to 250 because I don't have anything to test 250 on. But torque wrenches are most accurate in the middle. Uh, about 150 would be acceptable. Same exact way. Pull down the collar to loosen and tighten. It could be a pain, but if you keep on holding it down, if you need to go up, 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 and up, I am going to test it in the middle. I figure about Let's say 120. That's how accurate it is. Yeah. You see the pull down collar is a little bit of a pain. We'll do 120. Positive lock. Let me get to that 120 right there. There you go. We'll test that at 120. My lug nuts should be able to handle that. This one. Calibration test data. CW reading 248.6, 100%. 150.2, 60%, 50.5 at 20%, and CCW reading 20, uh, 250.3, 151.5, and 50.9. And this one we're testing, uh, we'll go 50. 50 right there. My digital 
torque meter, which does not include a step down, step, step up from a three eighths to a half, which I can put that on there. So I won't need these adapters to come with it, which are actual step downs. There you go. Set that to 50. Pita, blah, blah. Average only had set to 80. Last time. Yeah, and. Fifty. All right. Let's bring it over to the wheel and check it out. All right, that's loose. I loosened it at almost eighty foot pounds. And let's try it. Fifty-two point eight. Let's loosen. Nice, Forty-seven point nine, 53.1. Now let's get the half inch. Let's set this guy at 120. One nineteen point eight. One twenty three point four. All right, they, they did pretty good. Assuming that this is calibrated properly, which feel wise, these did good. That did the Quinn did fine. These are uh, decently accurate. So there we go. These are nice. I like them. The only thing that could be a a little getting used to is this sleeve right here. Don't forget, when you store these types of torque wrenches, always set them at the lowest number. Helps with keeping it accurate. And I found out, when you pull the collar down, don't move the handle. Keep the handle stationary, and you spin the shaft. There we go. Spin the shaft, spin the shaft. A lot easier. Oh, 
Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and all that jazz.